So today I wanted to give an update on all my plants and I thought it'd be easier to go to do it room by room. So today is going to be the plants in my living room. Um, and this is the room between the living room and the, I call it the middle room and I have, uh, there we have our pothos and um, Philodendron Bazel. And down here is a peace lily. And we go over here. And this is a um, mother in law's tongue. And on the floor here, we have another larger mother in law's tongue. They're a great plant. They grow wonderfully in any light. And you can split them. Here I have a pothos and it's in a glass of water. Um, I trimmed back one of mine and um, so I'll make more plants out of that. Croton. And then back there is, is another mother in law's tongue. Um, Chinese Lucky Dollar, very thick. Oh, down here I have a. Um, air plant doing lovely lots of roots on it and this is if you can see this it's actually um, fossilized wood it's as hard as a rock but it's a piece of wood you can actually see like the little holes that uh, bugs would have drilled into the uh, wood that's my piece of fossilized wood I found on the beach and a dish of sea glass Sea glass, I love sea glass. And my ZZ plant is doing wonderful, loves it there. Bloom is dying off now. Um, there's a little variegated spider plant I started from some babies. Beautiful big Drazina. Bright red pot. Love that pot. And another more of the philodendrons. They're such great plants. This is the one I took the slips off of. It was quite full. So I cut it back and I'll get some more plants out of that. And over here, another pothos. Prayer plant. Look at the size of these leaves. They're just gorgeous. Look at it. It just loves it there. I love the prayer plants. And we have down here another peace lily. This is a slip I, I got. Um, it's a trailing African violet. One of a few I have. Look at that beauty. Boom, boom, boom. And you'll see the difference between the trailing African violet and the regular one. See how tight these blooms are together. The trailing African violet, the blooms are much looser. So I'll show you them. Uh, here is, this one has quite a few crowns in it. I'm not sure what it is, but I have to split that. In the window is my um, oh, hens and chickens. Those are a couple of, looks like nothing, but there is stuff in there I'm just trying to grow. And there's the trailing African violet. Isn't she beauty? Look at the blooms. And lots more to open. And there's another one that's starting. And another one. This is the strawberry begonia. Lots of babies. Another African violet, another strawberry begonia. I'm going to hang them. And there's a little baby of the um, Chinese Lucky Dollar. Another Chinese Lucky Dollar. This I got from the flower shop here, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's a beauty. This one is growing like crazy. It's a Cerulea. This hanging plant here 
it's a type of succulent and I it doesn't have a common name there is a scientific name for it and I can't remember the name but it um, it blooms I haven't had it bloom yet but I did find out from another YouTube channel that if you use tomato plant fertilizer it will uh, bloom so I started using it and as you can see look at these this there's three of them that are really big they just shot up they're like that thing has got to be like almost 10 inches and there's two more in back like it's just loving the tomato plant fertilizer so I can't wait to see how this grows it's really unique I just love it and back down here we have another spider plant I started here's another plant I can't remember the name of but it's doing wonderful isn't it unique love unique this is uh, another Sansevieria and I found out it's called a Sansevieria moonshine very pretty this is a trailing jade beautiful look at it oh yes and this I got for uh, Valentine's Day and it's still blooming beautiful this big plant here is my fiddle leaf fig. It wasn't doing so well when I got it, but uh, it's it's come back pretty much from the dead and growing now. There's another type of Sansevieria, and it's sending off roots, which I love. And you'll see some of my plants have items in them, because I like bling. So I bling up my plants. It's a beautiful big fiddly fig. This one really is doing well. And then up here we have my, I should turn it. This is a neon pothos. And it's growing lovely. It's a lot lighter than what you're seeing on camera. Beautiful. In the window, Blanche, beautiful pink, red, living stones, and as you can see, they're opening up, and on the two in front, you can see that they had blooms at one time, I love those plants, they're so unique, love different, and there we have ponytail palm, And a string of pearls, growing lovely. And over here we have more clancho, orange, uh, golem jade, more orange. This one I've had for a year and it's just, as you can tell, it's just bloom, bloom, bloom. It hasn't stopped blooming since I got it. And then a yellow one. Those I love. This Drazina was one gangly um, tree, so I cut it, and now it's sprouting here and here, and this one rooted the, the part that I cut off, so I potted it in with that. Down here we have um, the money tree. It's got the the five branches that are braided. Beautiful, and it's growing really well. And down there is, is a bird's nest, Sansevieria. And tucked in here is another lucky dollar. Um, another strawberry begonia. My cactus, Easter cactus, is blooming like crazy. And more blooms coming all the time, as you can see. Great little plant. This one here is my uh, fish hook. 
It's a succulent. It's a fish hook. Isn't it cool? And it really, some of the, the uh, strands on it got really long. Look at it. Oh, more sea glass. And kitty cat. This, I'm not sure what this is. This is an African violet, but I'm not sure what type it is. And it's, there's tons of crowns in there. I've got to split this one. My big aloe. And a little Haworthia. I split my Haworthia. Oh, and I forgot my... Um, Hoya Bella. It's been blooming for months now. There's a bloom. I hate using this machine. Another bloom. More blooms coming. Beautiful. And then up here we have another uh, pothos. Beautiful. A spider. Try not to step on the dog. This is um, a Hoya. Not sure what it's called, but it wasn't doing well where I had it, as you can tell. This leaf came out and it's pure white. And uh, so I moved it, and as you can see, it likes the new spot of growth. And this is my mm, variegated spider plant. It's doing really well. And more repetition. Original Hoya, this plant is over 20 years old and it's growing well. And another pothos. And my coffee table. This is a favorite. Uh, it's not very big yet, but this is uh, the lemon lime Drizina. Just love it. And over here, I have another. Croton and Ivy. And that's my sea glass table. I collect sea glass and all pieces I I think are my special pieces I put in here. I'll do another uh, video on the table without at another time. Really interesting stuff. And Mr. Kitty. I think. That's all I have. Oh, and we have one more regular spider plant there. But that's my beautiful living room. It's so quiet. Birds chirping and plants. And here in Atlantic Canada in the wintertime, when it's storming a blazes outside, I can sit in here and enjoy the plants and the birds and the dogs. And the cat. Very cozy, very relaxing, my sanctuary. I hope you enjoyed.